most of the information my colleague has already said in the museum, but uh, maybe this model will help you better understand how this complicated process works, because it's really difficult to understand for adults, not even for, for you young uh, children. Okay, so we can repeat and maybe you can help me if you remember something from what Elenka has just said. So if I would ask you once again, from where we take the water here in Bratislava? What is our source of our drinking water? Rivers. Rivers, yes. And what's the name of the river, which is right here behind the, loop behind the museum? The Danube. Danube, yes, very well. Okay, so here in Bratislava we take the water from the Danube, but as Elenka said, not from the flow, as we can see, but from the underground layers, okay, so underground water. And since this water is really deep, and we are not living like hobbits underground, but we are living as a people, as a human, humans out uh, above, above the ground, so we need to take the water up from these deep, deep uh, layers. And you imagine this, as for example, when you want to drink with a straw, what do you need to do? You need to suck mm -hmm. a little bit. Okay, so it's the same principle here. So we use this mechanism, these pumps and different pipes to take the water, to suck the water from the underground to deliver it above that level. We use this electric pump. So this is the electric pump. Okay. And you can see that with the use of these pumps, we can take the water from the ground, from the underground, up to the higher elevation, to the higher level. So the water from the well, from this uh, box, goes through one pipe to the huge, huge water reservoir. Yes, you can, you can see the models of uh, such a reservoir in the historical part of the museum. And if you imagine these reservoirs, they can be as big and even much bigger and larger as this room, for example. So if you imagine how huge is this particular room where we are right now, so these reservoirs are much, much bigger. Okay, so when we have the water in the water reservoir, which is always higher than where we live, than the people where we need to deliver the water. From this water reservoir, there is another pipe, another, which delivers the water directly to us. So when I open this tap, the water will be uh, going through the tap, so I can, I can fully use it. So this is the basic principle, how this water work system works. It's really micro model, so you can imagine it better. As a, as a complex, uh, complex uh, system. So we have the well, we have these machines, these pumps. The pumps enable us to deliver the water to the water reservoirs, huge areas where we accumulate uh, enough water for as many people as we want to deliver with water. And then from these water reservoirs, the water goes directly to us because many of us do not have idea how this works. And uh, for example, what we can see in our households or at schools is only this stuff. So we always, uh, or not, not always imagine like what it takes to bring the water to our tap. So this is to explain uh, how it works and so we can appreciate the water which is being delivered here because it's not the, uh, something that everyone in the world has, not everyone in Europe has, and we are here and also uh, some of your countries very special to have that ability to have drinking water in the in the tap. And what can I say more? For all the people on first floor, second floor, and and so on and so on, we do water, and we do it through with the use of these uh, pumping machines and also with the use of the pressure. Okay, so that's why this reservoir needs to be in a higher elevation because we need to ensure enough
pressure to push the water up to the people in all, all uh, sorry, on the first floor, second floor. So I can change a little bit. Mm -hmm. And we can see that the water will go up. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we see that when there is enough pressure, we do not need to even use these electric pumps in order to have the drinking water, okay? So we can still uh, have enough water also without using pumps when there is enough pressure. And uh, for example, in the waterworks company, there works a lot of, lot of people at different positions. And I am right now uh, acting or playing as a dispatcher or kind of controller who is in charge of controlling uh, the amount of water, the level of water in this water reservoir, and he is in charge of uh, how many people or yeah, how many people can have actually the drinking water, and he needs to ensure, need to be sure that everyone can use the water uh, whenever he or she wants. Okay, so 